Hello, everybody. And I bet you're all wondering why I called you here tonight, and why it's so dark out, and why you're stammering so much, and why you're 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 sweating so much, and why you have a crabby hat patty hidden behind your back. Well, all those will be answered and more, because today, with me, Ox Fu, <laughs> I have something available now. No, I have I have a a special that I have to do. Because you see, I have been Let's Playing for exactly one year today. Well, to be honest, I have been uploading Let's Plays for exactly one year today. So what I have in store for you guys is something that you'll see in a second, because I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try to black that out so you can't see yet. And there will be no title up above, it'll just be called a one year special. But it is a PlayStation game. Ooh, let's find out what it could be. <laughs> let's find out what it could be. X. There we go. <gasps> this game contains contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Ooh, pretty. So hide your children. Capcom, what could it be? Violence and gore in Capcom? I have no idea what this could be. That's right, guys. Resident Evil. DualShock TM version. Uh, this is the director's cut version of uh, Resident Evil that is available on PlayStation Network, because I couldn't track down a copy of the original. For my one-year special, I'm going to be doing a blind Let's Play of the first Resident Evil. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to get onto later games, but for now it's just going to be the first one. Now, what this means for those of you that are not new... Ooh, be smart. Fighting foes isn't the only way to survive. For those of you... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, go back. No, go back. I don't want to go to that yet. For those of you that don't know what a blind let's play is, that is when this is the first time I have ever seen or played this game. I have played five minutes of Resident Evil 5, so that doesn't really count. And I have seen the Resident Evil movie, which has nothing to do with the game. Or so I'm told. So this is completely blind. Now what this means is that please do not spoil anything. Please do not give me hints on how to play the game, unless I've already figured out what I need to do. So, yeah. Just makes it fun for everybody. Uh, if I see that people are trying to give me spoilers, I'll stop reading the comments. It's as easy as that. And I like reading comments. I like replying to you guys. That has been probably the most fun that I've had with these Let's Plays, is, is talking back to the people who watch them. So, don't spoil it, okay? This is my first blind Let's Play as well. So, I, I, I want it to be good. Oh my god, there's zombies in this. I had no idea. No, I've seen the movie, so I knew there were zombies. That's about it. So, let's get started, shall we? Enough dilly-dallying, enough... Delaying the inevitable, just making sure that I'm not losing any frames or anything. All right. Uh, do we want vibration? Yeah, we want vibration. Oh yeah. <laughs> this should be fun, guys. So, all right. Original difficulty. I didn't even check that that was d difficulty or anything. So we can be either Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. Um. I don't know what the difference is. I'll go with the guy for now. So it is 1.46 in the PMs. So that means that 2 o'clock I should be done with the first episode. Cool. Cool. Oh god. I was 8. <laughs> Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. 
There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Ugh. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! Look, Chris, it's still black and white. Oh god, this is beautiful. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. So I'm guessing that's me? I think? Uh oh. intro cutscenes I've ever seen. <laughs> Kill, run for that house. Oh my god, that was amazing. That is like cheesiest horror movie type of intro. And I love every second there of it. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Oh god. That's me! I guess. Huh. Yeah! I'm a man! <laughs> Jill Valentine. <laughs> Barry Burton. Oh, poor Barry. Get the best beard. Well, she doesn't, but. Albert Wesker. Oh, yeah, he looks like a cool dude. <laughs> Bet he's gonna be saving Resident us a bunch. Evil. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god, I'm already in love with this game. That intro was beautiful. Where they thought it was safe. They've escaped to the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet! Yet they're all guarding one door. I don't know what happened. Barry, where's Barry? Look for his beard. Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably probably what? No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Righto. Let's split up, gang, and look for clues. <laughs> Chris? Take care. <laughs> sure. Wave my polygon hand. My square hand. Oh, God. <laughs> for a second, I'm like, this isn't going to be... Oh, okay. Ooh, that's weird. The control scheme. All right, I'm gonna use the directional pad in that case. Um, yeah, because I can I rotate using side to side and then go back or forward. That's weird. Whatever. Um, at first I thought it was gonna be like House of the Dead kind of gameplay with with first person style shooting or something there's nothing inside i don't know why i checked that <laughs> i'm just thinking oh look at it it's an oddly placed vase it must be important is that something on the table dinner utensils okay i guess that's not important Ooh, is it a fireplace it is a fireplace oh cool i can look inside will you take the emblem 
Yes. I don't know if I have limited inventory space, but I've t been told that I'm going to be very frustrated with this game, so please bear with me as I, Chris Redfield, I'm a man, Chris, I'm a man, Redfield, takes on this challenge. Oh god, the controls are going to annoy me after a while, aren't they? Oh, I like that. How, um, every door opens like that. Uh, let's go this way first, I guess. Do 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 do. It's a pretty nice house, actually. Oh, hello. Are you the butler? Oh my goodness. Uh uh. Whoa whoa whoa. <laughs> Run away! I don't. Can I? Can I fight? No. I I. Can I equip? Yes. Now can I fight? Okay, like that. Okay, so I hold R1 and then L1. Ouch. No, 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 no! How did I? There we go. Fight him! I'm gonna die right here on the first zombie. How? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's X to fight. Okay, that's why I was... Jesus Christ. Alright, so you have to hold R1 and then press X to fight with the knife. For some reason, I thought you had to hold R1 and press L1. He's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. More, more like a mere corpse of his former self. Ew, is that his head? <laughs> oh, if this is all that it is for gore, then this isn't that bad at all. No, I can't check that guy's body? Okay, good enough. It's locked from inside! Which means there's probably something we're gonna have to do in that room later. Going on. Adventure stuff. It's locked. A carving of a sward. Uh. Okay, that's not a sword on the emblem. It's a scratch. Someone may have used it. Oh, there's a scratch. Someone may have used it. Uh, okay. How do I go back? Okay, triangle. Triangle. And first aid spray. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Because I was at danger, I guess. I guess that's how you check your health. It's locked from inside. Okay. Can I run? Yes, I can. Okay, hold square and I can run. Cool! Oh my goodness. What is waiting for me in this dining room now? Okay, good. Never, never mind. Nothing is here. <laughs> I was expecting like, a room full of zombies now that I've found it. A dusty-looking grandfather clock. Is, are you going to be a puzzle later on? A picture of a woman. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking those are going to be part of a puzzle later on, but I'm probably wrong. No, I'm probably right, because, I mean, all you can hear in that room is the ticking of the clock. And knowing puzzle games. If that's what this is. By the way, guys, I didn't... Wesker? Chill? Oh, wait. Where'd they go? Check for clues, man. It's right in front of you. To Jill and Wesker. What is this? Right here. It's Jill's gun. Why did she get a gun and I didn't? Jeez. No fear, man. Yeah, I'm going to take the Beretta. Of course, it means I have a gun. Um, I've been told to be very, very uh, frugal with my bullets, though, so I can keep that on standby for right now. But I forgot to tell you guys, I believe this is the first game that, this is the game that invented the survival horror series. 
Uh, either this or Silent Hill, the first one. I'm not sure which one it was. Uh, I didn't look it up. I know it's one of the two. A woman drawing water. I see no pencils for her to draw water. Oh. <laughs> What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. No, get it. There we go. What are you? What? What? Oh, I can push you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, push it. No, no. Yeah, then push it that way. There we go. No, no, too far. Ugh, now you've blocked the door. Damn it, Chris. Um, this way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I just screwed myself a little. No, no. Because now I, I, I see what I've got to do. One second. Carving of a sword. I get it. Um, I, ha I see what I have to do. One second. got to leave this room now. Or maybe I can leave through this way. Yes, I can. And I'm guessing by leaving the room, that'll reset in a minute. Is this a door? But anyway... This is the first of the horror survival. Oh, God! Oh, oh my God, reflex. I thought that was just a corpse. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll take the ink ribbon. I'll take everything, because I don't know what I'm supposed to take and what I'm not supposed to take. Oh, my God, first of the jump scares. I was told that that was going to happen. Oh my goodness. I am so glad that this is happening. <laughs> Cause what you guys don't know is I have completely drawn all of my curtains and such. No. Can I I can't I I need to pull you. I need to pull you! I can't do it. Oh, let's leave the room and go back in. Can we skip this? Can we skip this? No. We cannot skip that scene. That's okay. I don't think that... It's gonna take... It's not that long anyway, so... Oh, it's a loading screen. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. I get it. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see what we have to do. We have to... We're gonna end up having to come through that door in order to push this away? No. Wait a minute, what? Because what we've got to do is we've got to push this over here so we can get on top of those stairs and get on top of that. So we can get whatever that is in the vase up there. I see that, but I can't pull. Can I? No. No, I can't do anything with it right now. I don't know. See if it changes. See if we can figure it out later, I guess. I don't even remember what I was saying about this being one of the first of the survival horror games. Except <laughs> the jump scare happened while I was doing that, so. Picture. Oh, wait, wait. Armor. Uh. No, don't stop in thought. There we go, start. Doesn't this have armor on it? You can't use it here. I thought this had armor on it. Yeah, that. Well, a shield. I would think that would be armor. Whatever. Huh, 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 huh. Metal Gear. That's what it looks like. But then again, it's it's third person game on the PS1. Typewriter. Oh, ink ribbon. There we go. I don't know what those are for, but whatever. So I can print out something later. Oh, okay. I've got to press X to go up the stairs. That's weird. Huh. Huh. <laughs> these are the weirdest loading screens. Do I have to press X to go up these stairs too? Well, I do, but at least it's not a loading screen. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Just my mom asking me if I wanted to go with them to get Chinese food or anything, and I'm like, nah. I just went with my girlfriend to get Chinese food. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I saw a sparkly. <gasps> You're a sparkly. You're a small key. Yes, I'm going to take that small key. 
So I wonder what I have to do once I fill up my inventory, because I don't think... It's, no, I've got only six spaces, so... Do I have to drop them in... Oh, God, wait a minute. Can I check that? I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. I hope that's just not blood, because that means that... Uh, the music's getting creepy. Were this not a horror game, this would pre be a pretty fantastic room. I mean, this is like some sort of conservatory or something. Oh my god, I love the the vines, the trellised vines on the on the marble pillars and such. But <gasps> you're gonna be alive, aren't you? No. <gasps> uh. Okay, you weren't alive, but anyway, it's Forrest! He's been picked to death by crows. Oh god. At least you're not chained there, so you're not some sort of Prometheus. What? Get away, crows! Oh my god, I'm f I have to fight crows. Are what? What? Is everything, like, just gonna eat me in here? Including crows? They're crows! For crying out loud. Not zombies. Get over here, crow. Get over here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get you and eat you for dinner. Get over here, crow. There we go. That's all of them, right? No, I'll probably go back and there'll be more of them. Can you do anything with this window? No. So there was absolutely no point in coming out here except to find out that part of Bravo Team has died. And there's another thing that's going to try to eat me. But then where'd the blood come from to begin with? Because something had to make that blood spatter out there. And it couldn't have been, couldn't have been the crows because the crows are outside. <laughs> oh god, this has been going on for a while. So I think I'm going to let you guys go for now. Because I'm a bit over time. I'm at like probably like 25 minutes right now. <laughs> so um, this is the first part of my one year special. Yeah. Stroke your beard that you don't have. <laughs> my one year uh, LP special of Let's Play Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio X Fu. And the way I'm going to do this. I should say right now, is I'm going to try to upload this on weekends until I'm done. It is going to be taking over from Dust Force, because Dust Force was something for me to just pick up and do as something fun. It was also a way for me to get into the idea of doing blind LPs, because I want to do that. I want to I want to LP games that I never got the chance to play. Um, yeah. In any case... I will try to do this on weekends. If I can't, I'll do it some. I'll do it sometime. No, I'll try. I'll try to. I'll try to upload these on weekends when I can. And if it ends up that I really like this game and I want to put another game on hold, like Golden Sun or Half Life, for a while, I might do that. I might not. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Me Oaks Fu. Take it easy.